Using VIP is quite straightforward. So let's use a VIP with port forwarding so that each port will actually map users to another web server on port 443. All right, so the topology is as follows. We have the server's interface. It can be the DMZ. And we have two web servers. The first one is at the 192.168.2.12, and the second one is 192.168.2.13. Now, we need to map the external IP address of your 48 to the private address of our server. We also need to do port forwarding so that whenever a client reaches out the external IP address, it will be forwarded to the right web server. Let's move to virtual IP, create new, and name the first web server, server 12, and it will be, let's look at the diagram, it's 82.12.1.1, so let's move back. 82.12.1.1, that's the external leg of our 48, and it will be mapped to 192.168.2.12. Now let's use port forwarding, and let's use port 3443, and that will be mapped to 443. All right, now let's create another virtual IP. Let's name that web server 13, same IP address, eighty two twelve one one, and this time it will be mapped to the second web server, 192.168.213, and we will use port forwarding. And this time it will be 31443 that will be mapped to port 443. All right, now we have our two servers. So let's create a group. Let's name our group Web Servers 2 and let's add them up. And there it is. Now let's move to our firewall policy and let's name our policy to servers. Now the incoming interface is our ISP interface. The outgoing interface is our server's interface. Source can be all. Destination is our new VIP group, which is web servers too. Now you can hover and see the two web servers. Schedule is always service we can put on HTTPS but let's just use all. Now since we've already mapped them, we mapped the web servers in our VIP, we do not need to use NAT. Choose any security profile that fits you and apply that. Now the next time that you use your browser to head over to one of the web servers, just use the right port, which is 3443 to the first web server and 31443 to the second web server.